Starsky and Hutch, the iconic 1970s TV series known for its dynamic duo of street smart detectives, captures the imaginations of audiences with its gritty crime fighting and charismatic characters. Over the years, many of the talented actors who brought this vibrant show to life have passed away. This tribute honors the 29 actors from Starsky and Hutch who are no longer with us, commemorating their contribution to a series that remains a beloved part of TV history. Charles Napier in the series to play John Brown Harris. In 1975, when he was in the series, he was 39, and sadly he passed away on October 5, 2011, at 75. Richard Lynch in the series to play Hitman Zane. In 1975, when he was in the series, he was 35, and sadly passed away on June 19, 2012, at 72. David Soule in the series to play Detective Ken Hutch Hutchinson. In 1975, when he was in the series, he was 32, and sadly passed away on January 4th, 2024, at 80 years old. In peace and quiet, Mr. Starkey. Starsky? With an S. Nurse, please. Blackie Damat in the series to play Charlie Dix. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 38 and sadly passed away on May 12, 2021 at 81. Jean Pierre Armand in the series play Captain LaRue. In 1976, when he was in the series, he was 65, and sadly passed away on January 30th, 2001 at 90 years old. Michael Lerner in the series to play Fat Rowley. In 1975, when he was in the series, he was 34, and sadly he passed away on April 8th, 2023 at 81. Fran Ryan in the series to play Landlady. In 1976, when she was in the series, she was 60 years old and sadly she passed away on January 15, 2000 at 83. Ken Kochevo in the series to play the Beauty DA Clay Burn. In 1979, when he was in the series, he was 44, and sadly passed away on April 21, 2019 at 83. Daryl Zorling in the series to play Mr. Thistleman. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 49, and sadly he passed away on April 11, 2014 at 85. It's a $20 gold piece worth $3,000. I think someone must have taken it from a party we were giving the other day. Oh, a detective's... Jose Ferrer in the series to play Crazy Joey Fortune. In 1976, when he was in the series, he was 64 and sadly he passed away on January 26, 1992, at 80 years old. He's locked himself for the money, the other one has the key. What are you trying to pull? Robert Tessier in the series to play Soldier. In 1979, when he was in the series, he was 45, and sadly passed away on October 11, 1990, at 56. Wait, she takes a step that way. So on and so on and so on. Got it. Peter McLean in the series to play Judge Raymond McClellan. In 1976, when he was in the series, he was 40 years old and sadly passed away on May 28, 2003, at 67. Hmm. Nancy, you must have this by mistake. It's a state's arrest warrant. Lynn Marta in the series to play Helen Canahan. In 1975, when she was in the series, she was 30 years old and sadly she passed away on January 11, 2024, at 78. Can do something for him. I'm gonna go check out the plumbing. Chuck Hicks in the series to play Marty. In 1975, when he was in the series, he was 47, 
and sadly passed away on May 4th, 2021 at 93. Paul Bikerny in the series played Patsy Carroll. In 1976, when he was in the series, he was 54, and sadly he passed away on January 12, 2011, at 88. Uh, you like to smell my flower? No, you what? <laughs> you like to smell my flower? Dave Shelley in the series played Jeffrey Mills. In 1975, when he was in the series, he was 44, and sadly passed away on June 27, 1989, at 58. To personally return these two shields to detectives uh, Starsky and Hutchinson. Alex Rocco in the series played Thomas Callender. In 1977, when he was in the series, he was 41, and sadly passed away on July 18, 2015, at 79. Let me tell you something. I'm a cop. I've been one for 24 years. Suzanne Somers in the series she played Jen Hutton. In 1975, when she was in the series, she was 29, and sadly she passed away on October 15, 2023, at 76. Look, I came out here to run the cobwebs out of my brain. Mm -hmm. I'd appreciate it. You better keep moving. It helps to expand the uh, air viola. Sounds like something I eat every day. Lawanda Page in the series she played Mrs. Sweater. In 1977, when she was in the series, she was 57, and sadly she passed away on September 14, 2002, at 81. To this yesterday, another salesman from another company who just happened to be canvas in the neighborhood, he says. So William Prince in the series she played James Marshall Gunther. In 1979, when he was in the series, he was 66. And sadly, he passed away on October 8, 1996, at 83. Richard Ward in the series he played Captain Dobie. In 1975, when he was in the series, he was 60 years old, and sadly passed away on July 1, 1979, at 64. Janet Margolin, in the series she played Dr. Judith Kaufman. In 1977, when she was in the series, she was 34, and sadly she passed away on December 17, 1993, at 50 years old. I'm always from Bama to Springers. Well, epidemics don't respect geography. Uh, we understand that you were with Officer Donner at the airport. Yeah. Nicholas Worth, in the series she played Al. In 1976, when he was in the series, he was 39 and sadly passed away on May 7, 2007, at 69. Michael Conrad in the series play Captain Mike Ferguson. In 1975, when he was in the series, he was 50 years old, and sadly passed away on November 22, 1983, at 58. Bernie Hamilton in the series to play Captain Harold Dobie. In 1975, when he was in the series, he was 47, and sadly passed away on December 30th, 2008, at 80 years old. You're probably gonna say, it's none of my business. But I was just wondering. Stephen McNally in the series to play George Burt Holm. In 1975, when he was in the series, he was 64 and sadly passed away on June 4th, 1994, at 82. Paul Burke in the series to play Lieutenant Ted Cameron. In 1976, when he was in the series, he was 50 years old, and sadly passed away on September 13, 2009, at 83. Dr. Blue, that's a security special for police emergency. 